Hot and Cold and Rasputin have been staple characters in the Just Dance series for over a decade. But with their relationship only canonized three years ago, their love is already on the rocks. My name is Avery, and if being obsessed with Just Dance lore is wrong, then I don't want to be right. I have hundreds of Just Dance videos, so don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. A quick preface, instead of saying the full game names, I'm just going to shorten it to make it a little bit easier. So instead of saying Just Dance 2022, I'm just going to say JD22. Also just a heads up that Hot and Cold's official name is The Bride, so I'll be using those names interchangeably throughout the video. And with that out of the way, let's get into the drama between Hot and Cold and Rasputin. Hot and Cold first appears in JD1 in her original bridal dress, and Rasputin first appears in JD2. He also later appears in YMCA, Uptown Funk, and Hungarian Dance No. 5, which will come up again later. The first time that the pair appear together is in Sugar in JD19, where they're canonized as a couple. At the time, there was very little Just Dance lore besides coaches showing up in the background of other maps, so this was a really big deal to the Just Dance community. Having two coaches from the series actually be together leaves so much room for other stories to be told. The next time the two appear together is years later in Last Friday Night from JD22. The coach for Never Gonna Give You Up is flirting with Hot and Cold, but she curves him hard. <laughs> it's very embarrassing for my guy. Off topic, Just Dance, Please help this man find love. He deserves it, please. That's when Rasputin comes up to her, impresses her with his dance moves, and they run off together. Later, the bride comes back to dance with the main coach for Last Friday Night, and she has Rasputin's beard on her face. It's not really explained why she's wearing his beard, but I've decided to not let my mind wander too far on that one. <laughs> Fun note, Rasputin and Never Gonna Give You Up actually both appear in Uptown Funk together, so it seems like it might not be the first time they've met. Now on to the main event, which is Sweet But Psycho. The scene starts with a cake topper of Rasputin and the bride in their pose from Sugar, but Rasputin falls off the cake and the camera pans into the bride screaming. She's in an edited version of her original outfit where half of the costume is her sweet bridal look and the other half is a darker, latex looking costume. You can see her makeup is smudged and she has red eyeshadow coming down her face. Her hair is half cut, short, and half long, which is a reference to the music video for Sweet But Psycho. Throughout the map, there are several references to her heartbreak with Rasputin. As she dances through the halls, photos of her and Rasputin are falling and breaking on the ground. Towards the end of the map, she's dancing in front of windows that are reflecting their dance in sugar but are shattering behind her. At the very end, the bride is left as a cake topper alone on the cake without Rasputin. The map transitions to night as the bride has left the wedding venue, which is when, surprise, Rasputin shows up looking very confused, and we leave off on a cliffhanger. So, what happened? There are heaps of theories floating around, including one that I have, so we'll delve into a few of them. Rasputin cheated. This is the one that I've seen the most by far. If you remember Rasputin's appearances in other maps, I referenced Hungarian Dance Number no. 5. In this map, Rasputin is dancing alongside the coach for Body Move-In on what appears to be a behind-the-scenes set of Just Dance. There's nothing particularly romantic about this dance. In fact, there are times where Body Move-In seems to be rejecting Rasputin during the duet. But I will say I like the idea of piping hot tea in Just Dance. <laughs> Maybe Rasputin let the fame get to his head. Maybe he gave in to temptation. Who knows? Rasputin left the bride at the altar. Another theory I saw is that Rasputin just got cold feet and left. The tea is not as piping, but it's tea nonetheless. It's possible Rasputin got too scared of commitment and left the bride at the altar, but he does come back in the end, so it's possible he realized his mistake and came back to get married. But by then, the bride had left the wedding venue. Brandy Marie on TikTok also has a really interesting theory that just intrigued me a lot. <laughs> a small description of her theory is related to the telephone lore video I made. Her theory is that Icona broke all the Gaga coaches out of prison, which makes sense because the series is named after her. She notes that Rasputin is in the stained glass windows in the background of Just Dance, and she believes that Icona kidnapped Rasputin, which is why she was put in prison in the first place. Because they were lovers. <laughs> I love Brandy's mind. I want her on the lore team at Just Dance. I actually hadn't noticed that Rasputin was in the stained glass windows of Just Dance, and it all started to make more sense to me. It had nothing to do with applause. I really do think it's Rasputin on the other end of the line. Which leads me to my theory that I really want to talk about, which is Rasputin is a hero. So my theory requires some context that is detailed in the lore video that I made for Telephone. So if you haven't seen that yet, 
first of all, you should go watch it. I think it's pretty good, but I'll try to give some pieces of context so that it all makes sense. In that video, I was able to dig up some secrets from the Just Dance team. And one of my questions was, who is Icona Shard on the phone with during Beyonce's verse? The answer I received was maybe the person on the other end of the line is another Lady Gaga coach, or maybe it's someone that appears in the stained glass windows of the map for Just Dance. At the time, I theorized that it was the other costume in applause, but as I started doing more research for this video, I have an even more plausible theory. As we know, the main villain of JD23 is Night Swan, who is kidnapping coaches and turning them into her minions that, say it with me now, serve. When Icona is yelling into the phone, the scene right after is all the coaches outside, so it's likely that whoever she's talking to broke them out of prison, similar to Beyonce breaking Lady Gaga out of prison in the telephone music video. The other coach for applause does appear in the stained glass windows of Just Dance, but now we know who else appears in the stained glass windows for Just Dance. Our boy Rasputin! I think Icona called him to help break them out of prison, and he thought he could go break them out of prison and come back in time for his wedding. And I don't think our guy is very good at time management. <laughs> very relatable content from Just Dance. Maybe he hit traffic on the way back. I don't know. I don't know what traffic is like on the Just Dance freeways. My side theory for this is that he's actually not on the phone, but he was one of the prisoners that got broken out with the Gaga coaches and someone else broke them out. But at this point, who knows? But I have a little surprise. Or maybe if you've seen the telephone lore video already, it's not a surprise. So I reached back out to the Just Dance team and I asked them if there was anything they'd like to share about the story between Rasputin and the bride. And I got a response. We're two for two, baby, let's go. <laughs> One of these days, they're just not gonna respond to my emails anymore. <laughs> they're gonna be like, you're too nosy, leave us alone. And this was their response. Their story will continue. One day you will know what really happened. I read some of your theories that are quite close to the truth. Only one thing I can tell you, the coach of Body Movin, the one who shared a Hungarian dance with Rasputin, is just an old friend of his. So while we may not know the exact outcome, at least we know that Rasputin isn't a dirty home wrecker. Since the map left off on a cliffhanger, I'll have to do an update video when we get some more answers on this. I really hope we don't have to wait until Just Dance 2024 to get some answers. I hope that we get a conclusion to the story in one of the upcoming seasons, but we'll have to wait for some updates from Just Dance. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love talking about Just Dance lore. I find it super, super fascinating and I find myself going down a rabbit hole of theories almost every day. I wanna say thank you again to our lore master, Oho, who helped me make this video and gave me some little tips about the story. I recently did an interview video with her. It's like 15 minutes long, so uh, go get some snacks and a blanket and go watch it because she's really cool. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have hundreds of Just Dance videos spanning almost eight years. My eight year anniversary is almost here, so I hope you like them. Also, please tell me your theories in the comment section. I love reading everyone's conspiracies on what's going on because everyone has totally different ideas as to what happened. I also recently posted a gameplay video for Sweet But Psycho and I have to say, I'm very proud of it because it's my first video that I've ever edited in Adobe Premiere and it was terrifying and it took me so long, <laughs> but I learned a lot and I'm very proud of my baby. I also stream Just Dance Live on Twitch a few days a week if you wanna come hang out and request some songs. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one, bye.